This is where we're going to get into the nitty gritty and start building out the components in our app. So go ahead and click that main.storyboard and open up that storyboard file. When you open it, you'll see that the first thing that pops in is this view controller. So you'll see this kind of box that says view controller right on it. You'll notice that we also had a Swift file called view controller. So let's actually get into a sense of what a view controller is. View controllers are really the foundation of your app's structure. Every app that you've seen on the app store has at least one view controller. And really a view controller manages a specific app screen for things like interactions, views on there, uh, and really how that part of the screen works. If you look at Instagram and you look at the feed for Instagram, you're able to swipe around and go through this feed and look at all your friends images that they posted by the date. You can also click on your friend's profile and see more information about your friend or you can like their image or you can even comment on it. So that entire screen is a single view controller that's being managed. But if you look at a different screen, like actually adding a photo, you'll notice that it's quite a bit different. You can't do any of that other stuff. When you add a photo, you can either add from your gallery or take a picture. So you'll see how both of these are completely different views um, and must be managed differently underneath. For simplicity's sake in our app, we are going to stick with one view controller. Because right now, the only thing we're really going to have is the cards to show each of our uh, questions for our trivia game, as well as when they finish the trivia, just having a little completion there. We can all put that into one view controller. We're not going to do anything too fancy there. Now let's get into sort of the stuffing of a view controller, which is a view. A view is essentially the content within that screen. Every view controller has one single root view. And to that root view, you can add sub views within that main view. So go back to Instagram and, and look at your feed. You have your main view controller, which manages when you do things like swiping or clicking on certain things. But then also, if you look within that, you have views that are broken down in there. Essentially, the views are all the content within that. So the comments, the profile picture, the actual Instagram image, any buttons that you see, the like, the comment, the share, these are all sub views that are contained within this controller. Now let's go back to our app and see how it's structured. It's a pretty simple structure. We have the main root view that is going to be the majority of our app. And then within that, we're going to have a few different views that make up the content of the app. So for instance, you're going to have the actual score number. So if it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, you'll have that at the top. And below that, you'll have just a label that says points or whatever you want to call it. And in the middle, you're going to have the list of cards or the stack of cards, which are going to have a little question inside that card that you can swipe left or right. Let's get into some of the other tools that you see here and some of the panels that you see. So the center, of course, is going to be your main storyboard. That's where you're going to see how your app's going to flow and all the view controllers within it. The right bar is going to be your inspector. This is going to control a lot of the different options for each of your views and your controllers. Below that is going to be the toolbox. So if you scroll through this, you'll see a lot of nifty um, presets that Apple has given you that you can actually just drag into your storyboard to create. So you'll see things like a tab bar, um, you'll see buttons, a label, um, text, switches, you'll see all the nifty tools that Apple has provided for you that you can just add into your uh, storyboard. And right to the left of your storyboard, you can see a list view of your entire scene. So right now you can see that there's just a view controller scene. Again, for this app, we're going to stick to a single view controller app for now. Let's take a high level look of how our views will be structured. In our app, we're going to have a background image. Um, in this case, since we're kind of sticking to a very popular movie, we're going to kind of set the scenery. So we're going to create an image for the background. Now, if you think about how the card is, the card itself is going to be a single view, but there's also the question in the card. 
So the question is going to be a subview of that card. And also, we want to have some images kind of show up to give you a little bit more clarity while you're swiping the cards. So if you slowly swipe your card to the true spot, you'll see an image kind of pop up letting you know that you're on the, the good side. And if you are trying to swipe at false, you're kind of going more towards the dark side. But since our app is going to have a bunch of different questions, we're going to need to have a lot of different cards for each question. Um, and in this case, how are we going to add a bunch of different cards? Well, we're going to be doing this in code, and I'm going to show you a little later on how to do this. We will also have two labels, again, one for the, uh, to keep track of the score, and another one which is just an essential text label that says points. All right, so let's go back into our uh, storyboard. So this main part right here is called the interface builder, and it's just how it sounds. It's where you're going to be setting up the views and structuring your actual app interface. Okay, the first thing I want to add is the background. Let's add the assets that we're going to need. Luckily, we provided the assets for you. So if you haven't already, download the assets uh, included with the resources pack. So you'll see three images. Uh, each with a like number X afterwards. This is essentially handling different resolutions for the different iPhone devices out there. Go ahead and click your assets.exe assets file to pull it up and then drag all those images into that file. And you'll notice here that it actually only shows three different assets because Apple automatically recognizes the uh, at 2x at 3x and it's able to store those as specific resolutions for that particular asset. So now we're going to go ahead and just quickly add that galaxy background into um, our app. So go back to the main.storyboard file. Go ahead and go into that toolbox that I showed you before and in the filter bar go ahead and type in image view and you'll see that it pulls up this image view. So this is a specific view that Apple has created for you to essentially add an image into your app. So this image can be anything. It could be a profile picture. It could be one of the assets that you have provided um, and it allows you to control the different options for each image. I'm going to go ahead and just drag it into your view controller and let's go ahead and expand it to the entire window of that specific view controller. Now to set the background, you can actually go into your inspector that I showed you and in this image right here, you can either click on the drop down or just type the name of the asset if you know it. So I'm just going to go type background and if I hit tab, you'll notice that the image actually changes to that galaxy image. Let's just try running this app real quick. You can either plug your iPhone in and get it recognized or what we can do is try the iPhone simulator. So the simulator is essentially an iPhone running on your computer. This allows you to test your app much quicker than having to uh, download the app into your phone and having to run it through your phone all the time. And what's better, the simulator can run under various different specs for each of the different iPhones out there. And let's face it, you don't have every single iPhone out there, so it's really good to test it on multiple type of devices and making sure that everything looks good on each iPhone. To change the simulator, at the very top, you'll see it says, set the active scheme. And if I change this from iPhone 7 Plus to, let's do a more standard size, which is the iPhone 7, and I hit this play button, this play button will actually build the app that I have currently and download it into our simulator. So once I hit the play button, it's going to do a little bit of building. It says build succeeded. And if we look, you'll see the simulator pull up. And if you look here, you'll see the Galaxy background in a simulator for the iPhone. Congratulations, you built an app with a Galaxy image. All right, it's not really magic yet, but we are going to get into the magic of building an app, which is the actual coding. So in the next module, we're going to go through a quick rundown of Swift. It's going to be a very fast, very lightning sort of boot camp on Swift to get you up and running and understanding some of the code that we're going to be going through. <laughs>